beauties thank you guys for clicking on another video today's video is going to be about my hair my yellow hair here i was supposed to do this review some months ago but we're not going to get into that we're just going to jump right into it so um i know um, you guys probably i did cut the bangs and make this into like a uh bang wig so i didn't sew it i used um hot to be hot to be <laughs> i was about to say got to be <laughs> i crack myself up anyway so i used um hot glue method the hot glue method which as it's called quick weave um method so i didn't really think that this hair was that expensive for me to be like oh i need to sew it the only time I sew my my wigs is when I have expensive hair because I am not, and I repeat, I am not putting no hot glue or no type of track glue on some expensive hair. Just not happening. Now this is a good quality hair. I did pick this up from my local Sally's. It is a 613 blonde hair that I use some Arctic Fox on. So if you guys are interested, I will have all that up in here somewhere where you guys can see um what i do have a video up of the watercolor method of me um coloring this hair also if you guys want to see me crimp the hair then i have another video up um of me crimping some other hair it's not this hair but it's another type of hair and it's just it's the same thing basically it's this really it's the same thing um, this hair right here is a good quality hair. Like I said, I will take some pictures and just insert them because I didn't record as I, as I went. Because like I said, I was supposed to do this video a long time ago, but time got beside me. But anyway, so here I am now doing this video. Um, but like I said, this hair is a good quality hair. It's not bad. You can still rub your hands through it even after I colored it. Um, you always want to use some good type of, uh, leave-in, some good type of leave-in conditioner for it, though, because you don't want it to, um, mat up or stiff or be stiff or anything like that. So, always use some type of leave, good leave-in conditioner after you but anyway, clean. The hair does not shed. It's a, it's really good hair, y'all. Um, I will, like I said, I will take some pictures and insert what it's called so you guys can head over to your local salads and pick some up because if you really want some inexpensive like good quality hair and you want to try somewhere else other than your local uh, beauty supply store then sally beauty is a really good place for you guys to go and pick up some really good hair um also, we have braiding hair, too. I just noticed I didn't have my nose ring in. That's not going to fly. But um, this is the first time I've ever not had my nose ring in. And I just noticed I don't have my nose ring in. Ah. Anyway. Um, but like I was saying, um, Sally Beauty has some really good quality hair. They have... Um, they have inches ranging from 10 inches to all the way to 22 inches. They do have um, some unprocessed hair that is uh, 26 inches up to 20, from 22 to 26 inches. I don't know how that works, but that's just what the packaging says. Um, but this hair here is really good. Like I said, um, this is about a 22 inch, I think. Yeah, so this is a 22 inch, um, 22 inch bundles. I use, I use two and a half, two and a half bundles. There's not more that I can say about this. I went in with the color, um, neon yellow and sun. No, neon yellow. I went in with neon yellow and, um, ion yellow. For Arctic Fox, neon yellow and ions brill ion brilliance uh color yellow um they're both semi -per uh, semi-permanent colors 
the, this I've washed it before I did these crimps and it did not bleed one thing about Arctic Fox and Ion semi-permanent colors they don't bleed they are those are my two favorite colors to get from Sally's or two favorite color brands to get from Sally's um, it's Arctic Fox and Ion the other ones I really haven't used yet um, just to, just for the simple fact that I am set on Ion and Arctic Fox. Those those two are my favorite. And if I'm not going to Cosmoprof to get Joyco, then those are the two. Those are the only two that I use. Joyco is my number one favorite. Number one favorite. Um, if you guys know any other type of colors to use, list them down below, and I will give them a try. And I will I will do over top of it looks. Um, that's not normally how I make my uh, closure pieces, but I wanted to try something different because I've seen someone do it on you on their channel. So I like let me give it a try and see how I like it. It's not bad. I won't probably do it like this again. I probably will just go buy me a closure piece and just do it like that because I want it to look more more realistic. Um, this one is just it's okay. Um, plus it's a quick weave. Um, plus it's a quick weave wig so it's not really that deep I guess I will get up so you guys can see how it looks okay guys so yeah this is pretty much how it looks from the back So yes, that's how it looks from the back. Um, I used a 22 inch and an 18 inch. So yeah, sorry, I got tangled just a little bit, but there's no shedding at all. I haven't experienced any shedding. Even with me cutting the tracks to do the quick weave, I haven't experienced any shedding. Um, do have some co couple other reviews coming up on some wigs that I bought. Show like I always express to you guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys won't be uh, so you guys won't miss my uploads. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your girl because you know your girl is fun and I be coming with good looks. <laughs> no. Anyway, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. And Yvette Glam will see you in another one.